Hello everyone, welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to start with a completely new topic, uh, which is uh, the TestNG framework and how we are going to utilize TestNG in order to do our verification in the Selenium automation. So till now in the whole series of Selenium WebDriver tutorial, we have learned how you can you know, uh, use, utilize the features or the functionalities provided by the Selenium web driver to perform various operations on uh, the web elements uh, and what are different methods to handle different sort of scenarios uh, when you come across your actual application, right? So um, we haven't, uh, you know, gone into the verification part yet. So we have learned all the core concepts of Selenium web driver. But now we also need to do the verification. So whenever you are doing the manual testing, what you basically do is you perform certain steps and then you verify that the actual outcome that you, you know, get as part of that particular step matches with the expected result that you, um, that you have in your test case. So similar is the case for the automation as well. And in order to achieve that, you, you need certain testing framework. So JUnit was, you know, a very popular one, which was used for the unit testing for by the developers. And it has certain limitations. And that's why, you know, the test NG uh, came into picture to capture or to, you know, uh, to have a bit of enhancements um, and uh, address the limitations that JUnit had. So let's go ahead and see what exactly test NG is and how we can utilize test NG to do our test automation or the verification in selenium um, web driver automation so let me just search uh, test ng and i'll navigate to this particular website and you can see that test ng is a testing framework inspired by junit and nunit and it introduces some new functionalities and it is very powerful and easier to use so a lot of you know uh, good things about uh, test ng are you know you have uh, you know annotations and then uh, there are there are many more features that we'll cover as part of you know this whole series so i'll be completely creating a new series and adding that as part of this selenium uh, tutorial as well so uh, because test ng is a is a wider topic and you need to understand the core concepts of test ng testing as well and how you will use it to actually do the verification part of your selenium web driver automation so you can see that it has a lot of you know features here so it will you know supports the parameter it supports uh, data driven testing uh, with the, the data provider annotation um, and then it has you know uh, a lot more functionalities which we'll cover in a lot more detail as part of this tutorial i'll cover the installation part of test ng and how we can get ready to get started with the test ng in the next tutorial so um, if you if we scroll down, you know, um, if we simply go to the, uh, you know, documentation, maybe just go to download, right? So we'll see how we can install TestNG. So there are multiple ways you can install. So because we are using Eclipse ID, so we can, you know, use uh, this Eclipse plugin. Okay, so we can simply either get this plugin from the Eclipse marketplace. Okay, you can go to Eclipse marketplace and get the plugin or because we are using the maven project we have the maven uh, dependency as well so we, you, if you want to uh, you don't want to use the eclipse uh, for all of our test ng for all of your project you can simply add the test ng dependency for a particular project um, by adding this maven dependency or by directly downloading the test ng jar and adding it as a uh, dependency okay so adding is a, as an external jar. So let's see one by one how we can install TestNG in our Eclipse. Okay. So the first thing we want to see is basically when we install this as a plugin in our Eclipse. So when we install this as a plugin in our Eclipse, it's available for all the projects. Whenever we'll create a new project, the TestNG will be available for all the projects. Okay and we don't have to keep adding the external dependency so for example if we are not adding it as a uh, plugin uh, say for example these are two projects so if i want test ng functionality in selenium training i simply have to you know like uh, go to the build path uh, configure build path and uh, you know go to libraries and then add external jar and then add that test ng external jar okay so let me you know 
download that as well so we can you know so test ng i'll simply if you want to do like that so you can simply say test ng download and we'll download the jar okay so let's see if we go to this particular or we'll go to maven repository so we'll just say maven repository and we can download from there okay so this is the first way right so we'll simply say a test ng and search and just open this one org.testng open the link and here you'll see that there are different versions so 7.1.0 is the latest version that we can see here so if you click on that and we can simply download the jar okay so i can simply click on this link and you can see test ng 7.0 jar has been downloaded okay now in order to you know add it so let me go to the folder so test ng jar is in the downloads location here if i want to add it to a specific project for example this particular you know project so i simply need to go to the right click on the project go to build path configure build path and go to libraries and the class path and add the external jar and i'll go to the location where this test ng jar has been downloaded and add it okay apply and apply and close okay so now the test ng jar has been added successfully okay now this test ng will be applicable only for this particular project now if i create any new project this test ng won't be available there so if i want that test ng framework functionality in new project i need to create a new you know uh, project and then add it as an dependency now the next approach is basically to get the maven dependency so for example i want to add this version 7.1.0 in my project i and i have a maven project so we have been working on the maven project so i'll simply copy this dependency right and then go to eclipse and this is my maven project right so we have been using this just go to pom.xml and add that particular dependency so i'll just scroll down and within the dependencies tag i'll simply add the dependency that i have copied right and save it and now you'll see that it is building it is basically downloading the dependency and the uh, test ng jar will be downloaded and it should be available somewhere in the maven dependencies right so uh, let's see it is still building so it is still basically in like downloading so we need to refresh and once the build is successful right you, you can see that test ng 7.1.0 is now available and all other you know, like uh, applicable dependencies are being added successfully okay so that's the second way but uh, this is again you know like project specific so you are adding the maven dependency to a specific project uh, if you want this functionality or test ng framework functionality across the you know all the projects then you have to add it as a plugin uh, in your eclipse so how you can do it you simply go to you know um, help and go to eclipse marketplace so that's the first way and in the eclipse marketplace i can simply you know search for uh, test ng if you simply just uh, let it load and here if i go to test ng documentation you can see that uh, you can use the eclipse marketplace all right or we can simply go to you know like uh, from the update site in eclipse we can go to help install new soft software and then paste this particular url okay so let me copy this url and show you how you can do that so here in the eclipse marketplace what you can do is you can simply say test ng i'll type test ng and click on search and it is uh, not showing looks like uh, the test ng is not you know compatible with this particular version maybe that's the reason it is not showing here so what we'll do is we'll go to six matches and we'll see that that's the actual case 
and uh, yeah you can see test ng for eclipse is shown here but it looks like the issue might be with the uh, compatibility let me click on you know so to install you simply have to drag and drop somewhere okay in the eclipse and uh, yeah you can see that it shows uh, unable to install because the following solutions are not compatible with the version of the eclipse so i'll close it uh, let's install you know it manually with with the other version okay so what i have already copied that particular you know like link where we can get other versions so i'll simply go to uh, you know um, help and click on install new software so either you can go to eclipse marketplace if the test ng is compatible with your eclipse version you can install from there or I, you can click on install new software i'll paste the url okay uh, that I have copied click on add I'll say test ng and add and then it will uh, you know list the test ng releases or you know the details that are available here so it should list them here uh, if not then we can yeah it's it's available okay so you can see test ng eclipse release we have copied you can simply just um, you know select that test ng click on next and then this particular you know plugin test ng uh, plugin will be installed automatically um, in your eclipse and whenever uh, you are you know trying to do use annotations or any of the test ng functionality you will be able to use it any new project that you will create that will also have this functionality because this test ng is being installed across your eclipse so this should be fine so it will take some time to install so uh, once the installation is successful you have to restart eclipse and then i'll show you how you know the installation looks like and what all you know details are required further to configure test ng so let me pause the video so here you can see that install details so you can see review items to be installed so these are the items that will be installed i'll say next accept the terms and license ag agreements um, read out the details and then click on finish and then you will see in the right hand corner here it shows installing software and once the installation is 100 percent then we need to restart this instance of our eclipse in order to get all the dependencies for the test ng framework so it will still take some time so once your installation for test ng will be complete you will get a restart eclipse id notification here uh, just click on restart now and once the eclipse will be restarted we'll see how um, you know the installation has gone and whether we are able to see test ng in our eclipse instance or not so let's wait for uh, launching Eclipse ID. All right. So in order to verify uh, the test ng, what we'll do is we'll go to uh, Window Preferences and just see below is available here now. Right. So that means test ng has been installed successfully as you know plugin in our Eclipse instance. And now we can use we can start using test ng in our project so that's all about you know installation of test ng how you know install it uh, in a different ways you can either you know download the jar file and add it as a dependency in your project if you are using a maven project add it as a dependency uh, in pom.xml from the maven repository and if you want to you know like download or add it as the add-on which is the most recommended way then you need to go to help um, go to eclipse marketplace um, or you know install new software and provide the url where this particular test ng is available and you will get all the details from the test ng website and follow the instructions to install it after that restart eclipse and test ng will be available for your project to go ahead and start working for the verification part of our selenium web driver tutorial 
So that's all with the test ng installation, uh, different ways of test ng installation and why do we need test ng installation. Um, in the next tutorial, I'll come, I'll cover all the details about the test ng and uh, the test ng testing framework and how we can use test ng framework with our Selenium automation. So hope you like the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.